Hi there. So this week I'm asking you to do some research. Now in, in this class, or what I mean by research right now, is uh, I want you looking at images. All right, so imagine that your, your head is uh, has all the images in it that you've looked at over your life. So you've looked at lots of Pokemon, or you've looked at lots of commercials, or whatever. A lot of us don't necessarily, when we first take a clay class, have a lot of images of pottery stored up there right? So what I want you to do right now, today, in this assignment, is I want you to go fill this bucket, this, this container up here, with images. I want you to look at and think about as many images, well, I mean, as many images as you can. We'll do this for a while. We won't do this forever. Um, but one of the things that I have as an advantage over you, when you come to me with a, an idea or a question and you say, hey, Rachel, how might I do this? I've looked at stuff all the all the time for my whole career and so I've looked at a lot of demonstrations I've looked at a lot of examples of finished work I know what you can do with this technique I know how you might decorate that way I know about glazes I know about clay etc um, in the studio we have the physical studio at work at uh, YVC we have uh, magazines and we have books and we have posters and I can point around the room and say look at that we don't have that option right now and I don't know what you have at at home. Um, so what I want to do is take advantage of what we do have, which is we have everything, right? We have the internet. So um, lots of ways you could do this, uh, depending what you're comfortable with. So I have pulled up Instagram here um, because it's lots of pictures, right? And so I just typed in the search bar, I just typed in pinch and up popped a hashtag pinch pots. And I was like, hey, that works out. So here are a whole bunch of pinch pots and pinch pot ideas. Some of these are going to be, you know, uh, not pinch pots, I guess. Uh, some of these are going to be relevant to us and some of these aren't. So you're looking for the things that, you, you know, you're probably not looking for the ones that are made by children, right? You're probably looking for something else. Um, functional ceramics. Let's see what happens if we look up functional ceramics. Um, and for me, my Instagram is already curated, right? It already pops up. I, I follow lots of people who do um, ceramic things. So I get some of the really nice quality. Um, here's one like we have in the studio. I get some of the really nice quality, um, you know, demonstrations and examples and stuff like that. Um, just because I'm following people who are professional makers, right? But I want you looking through some of this stuff. Um, and I want you looking for things that relate to you. So somebody mentioned, uh, or, or uh, let's say somebody wants to uh, make a uh, teapot. Let's go with, uh, let's, let's narrow it down a li little bit. Let's do ceramic teapot and see what shows up. So you might narrow things down by talking about clay or ceramic or art or artist. Um, let's see what happens if we do that. Artist teapot. And you see some of the things popping up are um, artists I know uh, or follow. Artist teapot, ah, not a lot for that one. Um, so that might not be the way to go. Uh, how about ceramic tea set? Um, let's see what happens when we do that. And so these, you can look for, no, you can look for things that are relevant to you. So a lot of these are going to be, um, you know, there's going to be thrown pottery. There's, there's this, this container is built with slabs. Um, there are going to be ones that are mass produced. Uh, if you peek, sorry, I'm, I, my picture's weird right now, but like this one has this complicated form that relates to some sort of tea making that's more complicated that I'm aware of. Um, but you're looking for stuff that speaks to you. So if you are a, uh, you love very delicate, um, sweet, uh, uh, pretty kinds of forms, or if you like a little bit more rugged, um, simple, plain, whatever, we're looking for what is speaking to you. So Instagram's great. You don't have to use Instagram. Um, Google's fine as well. Um, uh, ceramic teapots. Uh, let's try that one, but make sure you do an image search. So I'm going to click image here rather than just doing a Google search. Now, apparently my words went away. So now I'm doing a Google logo search. What? Yeah, this is fun. All right, let's try that again. Ceramic teapot and then image search. 
I'm not sure why it's doing that. Usually it lets me do it that way, but whatever. Ceramic teapot. There we go. So this should pull you up a bunch of images. My recommendation is skip the store ones. You don't buy in teapots. You're looking for um, handmade teapots. Now already we've got some kind of interesting ones, but it looks like a lot of commercial stuff. So let's do this. Uh, add art. Or we, oh, yep, now we got some weird stuff. <laughs> um, some interesting, different, um, expressive sorts of forms. Um, let's do uh, artist made ceramic teapot professional. I'm not sure what's going to happen when we do professional. Um, but I, what I'm thinking is we, yeah, we've, we've started to get a little bit more. Well, similar kinds of stuff, but I'm recognizing some of the artists is what's going on here. Um, if you run across somebody in either kind of search or in, in looking through YouTube and you say, well, you know, I'm really interested in that particular artist, um, you can search that way. So this artist here is, um, I'm in the way again. This one's taking us to contemporary ceramic artists at Artsy. And then this is going to give us some names of artists. And this is a way you can look as well. Um, and I was hoping to get that person's name. And I, Robert Lugo. Yeah, Roberto Lugo, excuse me. So Roberto Lugo Ceramic Teapot. Let's see what else we get when we look for him that way. So now we have a bunch of different works by the same artist, um, and we can kind of branch off from there. So anyway, let me put us back where you can see me. Um, so uh, you can also look through YouTube. Um, you can also look through uh, Pinterest. I didn't pull Pinterest up here because I don't want to log in on, on this computer. Um, but if you, if you play with Instagram and, and, uh, Pinterest and et cetera on your phone, take some of that time and, and look for clay. Um, there are also ceramic resources on the internet. Um, so one of them, uh, Pottery Making Illustrated, I think is the one that's going to get us there. Yeah. So this gets us to Ceramic Arts Network. I'm sorry. The magazine is Pottery Making Illustrated. And it's part of the Ceramic Arts Network. Um, but you can, without subscribing, they might make you log in, um, but you don't have to pay anything. You should be able to check out um, lots of videos, demos, articles, and stuff like that. Specifically aimed at, um, you can do this, it's free. Uh, that, that thing, I'm just not logged in. You can look at lots of different um, uh websites and, and uh, I'm sorry, stuff on their website, images, videos, lectures, uh, talks, etc. And I've linked to them. I sometimes link to some of these, um, but they can be, um, they can be helpful as well. So I'm going to have you share some of that stuff. Um, but the important, that's sort of so I can see that you're doing it. But the really important thing is I want you looking at lots of stuff and I want you looking for what's relevant to you. If you find something and you're excited about it and you don't know how they did it, talk to me about it because I may know. I may I may be familiar with the technique or the material or, or whatever it is and I may be able to get you pointed in the right direction.